today we are ranking the best builds in NHL 25. I've loaded all the presets into a tier list. We're going to be setting them up. They're all presets, okay? I haven't made any new builds yet. There's been a couple of changes. I want to let my thoughts marinate. I'm working on some things. I'm cooking up. And if you do want to see those builds when they come out, make sure you go down and hit that sub button. But these pre-builds are great if you're new to the NHL franchise, if it's your first couple of games on NHL 25. And there are two of these builds in here that are actually extremely good. We'll get to those builds later. We're gonna start with the defenseman, and first up is the Bones Puck Movie Defenseman build. It's a medium-sized build with in-reverse, seeing eye, and elite edges. There's two really outstanding features about this build. Number one is elite edges. It is actually impossible to get elite edges with the normal builder in this game. You can only get it in the pre-build so far. They might add elite edges down the road, but now, right now, you can only get elite edges with these pre-builds, and this one has it. It also has 99 defensive awareness, a really good ability. It's gonna help you pick up a lot of passes and a lot of interceptions. With how powerful one T's are currently, this is a really good ability to have. It'll really improve your defense. You've also got 90 stick checking. The only issue with the defense here is 80 body checking is not great on a defenseman, but the other defense is so good. It really does make up for it. Overall, this is a very average defenseman build. It's really bottom of A and top of B. As I rank these other ones, I might change it up a little bit between A and B. But for now, I'm going to put it at top of A. Build number two is the Deep Freeze. This is my personal favorite defensive build. It's a defensive defenseman. He is huge at 6 foot 9, 275 pounds, rocking no contest, thunderclap, and truculence. The biggest weakness to this build is the speed and excel, both at 88. If you rock in with this into threes, you might get cooked. There's so much space. It's hard to defend with that low speed and excel. But this build works very well as one of your two defensemen in sixes where you don't need that much speed. Along with 99 body checking and 99 strength is an absolute big hog of a build paired with 92 stick checking and 95 defensive awareness. It's pretty close to just a lockdown build. The only issue is it's a little bit slow. But again, if you're sixes, the speed doesn't matter. If you're threes, you just have to play a little bit more conservative. Overall, a super fun build. However, the speed takes it down a lot for me. I'm putting it in C tier. The next build we have is Agent Blue Line, an offensive defenseman. And it looks like on paper, it might be one of the best builds ever made. Six foot three, 210 pounds, a big build. Wheels, truculence, elite edges, three of the best abilities last year. 92 speed, 94 acceleration, good body checking, decent at pretty much every other shot, 90 wrist shot accuracy and power, 88 slap shot power. You can hit those one timers from the point. The only issue with this build is when I put it on and play with it, it plays like ass. It feels so slow. Your checks feel so weak. I, this feels like an April Fool's joke done way too late. I'm serious, on paper, this, this build looks like it's the love child of Bobby Orr and Zendano Chara, but in game, I'm putting it at F. It feels slow, your hits feel pathetic, my shot feels horrible, the deking feels awful, the strength feels weak. I don't know what it is about this build. Please try this one out. Let me know how it works in the comments, but I cannot stand using Agent Blue Line. I will never use it again. I've used it the most out of anything in this game so far, and it feels horrible. That finishes up all of the defensive builds. Now it's time for offense. The bullseye is returning from NHL 24. They made it a little bit faster. It still has the best shooting you could get in the game. Great balance. The only problem with this build is its speed and its defense, meaning it's basically a perfect build to play wing in sixes. Threes, I'd be a little bit iffy about bringing it in, but for sixes, it's actually just a perfect wing build. I'm going to put it at the bottom of B because it's slightly viable in threes, but it's legitimately just a perfect wing build for sixes. You might be wondering why I'm calling it a perfect build and then putting it in B, but you'll learn a second here. There's a couple more builds that are perfect in a lot more situations. Next, we have the hammer build. I think this build is perfect for center and sixes. The only issue with it is that the hand to eye is a little bit low. You want that a bit higher, especially in sixes where you almost need that tipping threat. There's so little space out there. The difference with this build and bullseye though is that it's a little bit faster, a lot more viable in threes. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Next, we have the Moonlight build. I'm not gonna lie, it's a build I kind of wrote off last year. 
If I haven't told you already, they made some changes from last year to this year in these pre-builds. They changed the acceleration on pretty much every single one. And Moonlight comes out with 95 acceleration, 96 agility, and gold elite edges. A ability you can't get otherwise. Not only that, Truculence with 90 body checking and 99 strength. This build really does feel like a do-it-all build. It's huge. It's physical. The stick checking and defensive awareness are not great, but you're a checker anyways. You should be up close, just knocking people off the puck. You can be the puck carrier, carry it around, do your thing. You could also be off the puck and shoot one-timers with that 92 slap shot power. This build is incredibly versatile and powerful. This is the first build I'm putting in S tier. It is one of the most powerful builds in the game right now. Put on Moonlight, no matter what game mode position you play. You can run this in ones, threes, sixes, perwams, drop-ins, anything you want. Center, wing, run it at defense, it doesn't matter. This build is truly an S tier build. Next, we've got the Sudden Death Enforcer build. Another new build to NHL 25. A big build, big tipper, 95 hand to eye, truculence, crease crasher, 99 body checking, 99 strength. It plays a little bit similar to Moonlight. It just has less acceleration and doesn't have that agility. And you can definitely feel the difference when you pick up the puck. It plays a little bit slower. It's not as good as holding the puck and making those kinds of plays, but it still brings that big tipper value in. And for those reasons, I'm gonna put it just at the top of A tier. It's pretty much tied with the hammer build. The next build we have is the vector build, another build from last NHL. And from what I can tell, they didn't change anything on it. It looks really cool with wheels, a very high agility, 99 deking that agility is so high it basically acts like an elite edges but i will say having ankle breaker and puck on a string and 99 deking is very redundant this build only provides value to your team when you have the puck it's useless in sixes okay the defensive stats are horrible you can't take great one timers with this build it's only a good build when you have the puck along with having 75 bounce you're easily knocked off the puck the passing isn't great. The offensive awareness isn't great. This is just a, a blow mid build. Okay, this is a D build. That's Surge. This is a D build for the Vector. Last but not least, we have the Surge Playmaker build. This build is similar to the Vector in that it requires you to be a puck dominant player. It is the most effective when the puck is on your stick. That's where the similarities end, however, because unlike the Vector and its useless redundancies, the redundancies of the Surge build are actually very effective and valuable. While having 99 passing, tape to tape, and third eye is very overkill and you don't need it, it works very well with this build. It makes your passes hard, fast, crisp, and accurate. But the main strength from this build comes from its strength as a puck carrier. At 92 speed, 94 acceleration, no one's gonna be blown away by your speed, but you are fast enough to keep up with everything. Paired with unstoppable force and 90 bounce, it's extremely difficult to knock you off the puck. Along with 95 agility, it's extremely easy to evade any hits that come at you. So not only can you evade hits and it's hard to knock you off the puck when they do hit you, what do they have left? They have a poke check and a stick lift. Well, you have 99 offensive awareness, meaning when you do get poked, you're just gonna pick the puck right back up because that's what offensive awareness does. Basically just helps you pick up the puck, catch passes and pick it up when you lose it. So you're hard to hit, it's hard to poke check you. The basically the only solution is to have two guys defending you, but you're also the best passer you can be. So you, they put two guys on you, you're just gonna find the open guy. That's pretty much a goal. That kind of play style is extremely, extremely effective in threes where there's more space, but then you get to something like sixes where there's less space, you can be less puck dominant. That doesn't matter because you also have 90 hand eye. So not only do you have all that, but you're also a really good tipper in front of the net with 90 hand eye. There was only one slight downside to this build and that's the defensive stats are not great, but the offense on this build is just too good to put it anywhere but S tier. I told you there was two builds that were really good in these pre-builds and it's the Moonlight and the Surge. Both are forwards and both I highly recommend you put on and try at least once. Also try Agent Blue Line. It could be S tier, it could be S tier. I don't know, I hated it. It felt horrible. Overall, these are all the builds. They're pretty powerful. It's pretty top heavy because they are pretty good. The best tier builds, the S tier builds, are ones that combine size and speed and physicality in a way that you literally can't in the normal builder. They make these builds the way you can't in a normal builder. And that's what Moonlight and Surge do is give you that size and speed 
and skill that you can't get in your normal builder. Hopefully this helps you guys a lot. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel and hopefully I see you tomorrow on October 5th where we're doing a 24 hour NHL 25 live stream over on Twitch. The first link is in the description. If you don't want to follow the live stream, then just go follow the Twitch or maybe you want to pop in for a little bit. We're playing a lot of NHL, NHL discussions. Okay, without further ado, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.